Hi, I'm here with Gus Carrero. Is that the right way of getting it? Almost. Chirello. Chirello. And you said if, it was, if I was really Italian? Chirello. All right, you say it every time. <laughs> okay, and he's with uh, Smart Source, which, uh, Smart Source, which is a staffing. IT staffing and project deployment company. And what do you do for the company? I'm in sales, business development. I work with channel partners. So, disruptive technology. We are, every, it's being used, uh, thrown against the wall and bouncing off and going everywhere. Pick one of them and tell me what you think about it. Um, unified communications, uh, sure. security. Yeah. Associated with it, the tra traditional, as, as an example, traditional firewalls no longer protect your small or medium-sized business. There's too many other ports of entry that they just don't account for. So for me, um, if I was going to talk about destructive technology, I would say uh, unified communications is a big part of uh, we need to address as an industry. And where do you think that's going to go? Um, I think it's going to. I think a couple of things are going to happen. I think the existing players, like the Watch Gods, the Sonic Walls, the Semantics, they're going to continue to evolve, buy more acquisition, buy more products to integrate layer on top, as Semantic constantly does, where they semanticize products. And then there's going to be new new players in the marketplace um, that are going to just take grassroots products and build them up where they're just having one platform. Because when you go into your local IT shop, your small business owner would say 25 to 50. Um, they have no concept of how do I protect myself. They say, I got a firewall, I'm protected. And this is going to give another, almost another vertical within the channel to go after, um, to add more value in the security and stream. I'd be security players would be the people I'd look at for it. And I think the big problem is, is that people are thinking about exactly what you said. So well, we got all of our information behind the firewall so we don't have to. But the truth is, is that once they load it down into their device, it's no longer behind their firewall. And it, also on top of that, if they're using a product, like say they're using, and I, I use this myself, a Dropbox product. Using a Dropbox oh, product, no. it's, it's a great product. It's very easy to use, but it doesn't meet with compliance things like HIPAA. It, you know, there's no, there's no type of um, oh, uh, what, what, uh, um, point of sale compliance, and I'm blanking out right now, I'm sorry. Um, the, um, there's all different types of compliance issues which these products don't deal in. So having appliances, and we'll just say the word appliance for a moment, doesn't matter if it's software or hardware, um, address the overall uh, overall area is going to be more critical, which is just a whole other market segment. I think we'll probably be having a, uh, a segment here about disruptive technology over the next 6 to 12 months. I was just going to say, I think by next year that will probably be, be a session. dominating this Absolutely. whole thing, as much as like managed services or cloud even. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I guess in a way you could say cloud's causing a lot of these disruptive technologies right now. It's, it's shaping the industry. Cloud is shaping the industry. I, mean, I was with some people from one of the uh, service organizations um, today, and I asked them if they had a software company. I asked them if they had a cloud-based offering, and they said to me, we're going to have one in the next 45 days. If you're not in the cloud, you're not relevant at this point. Interesting, eh? Yeah. It changes so quickly. Um, good luck with the show. Thank you very much.